thank you for having us. Today we are going to create a holiday greeting card. Uh, we're going to be using chalk pastels and stencils that are pre-cut. Here is a set that you should all have containing stencil one. Notice it says align with the bottom. And we have stencil number two. We are going to align it with the top. Stencil number three. Stencil number four. There's stencil number five. You should have a piece of newsprint paper, which is a cover sheet. And you have your holiday card. And inside of it is a nice little message from us wishing you the happiest of holidays. So we are going to design the front cover. Uh, we're going to be using chalk pastel. I have a light blue, a medium blue, and a darker blue. You can use whatever color blues that you would like. Also, we have provided tissues in case you would like to use those to keep clean. So stencil number one, we're going to take our greeting card and we're going to make sure that it's uh, in the right format and we're going to design the front cover. So I'm going to grab my stencil number one and it says align with the bottom. So I'm going to align it with the bottom edge of the card. And this stencil is going to mask out uh, the bottom area so that it shows the top here. I'm going to take a dark blue chalk pastel and I'm going to simply put, apply this pastel in sort of circular motion here. I don't want to completely color it in because the pastel is made to spread around. Once you have sort of a good layer on, you can use your finger and you can blend it. I like to blend in circles. It kind of ensures an even application. Spreads the pigment around. And along the bottom here, I want to kind of make the pastel fade to the gray of the paper. There's kind of a nice fade here. So I'm just using what's on my finger and just trying to blend it in across the color there. You don't want your finger to get dirty you can take a tissue and wrap it around your finger and we can use the tissue to blend in circles this will take a little bit more of the chalk pastel off uh, but it will give a nice smooth even application and keep your finger clean in the process at this point if you'd like your uh, application you can you can move on to stencil two or you can simply just replace stencil one and you could add more. Let's say you wanted this, the, it to be a little bit darker at the top. Those are your options. Uh, if you would like to add some different colors in the background, this is basically going to be the sky um, of our winter scene. Um, it's completely up to you. So that's stencil one. Stencil number two. We're now going to start working on the hills of our winter scene. So we're going to align stencil two with the top. Go ahead and hold it in place. And I'm going to use a medium color blue for this. And uh, so it's a little bit lighter than the dark blue of the sky. I'm going to apply this pretty thick along the edge of the stencil here. So I'm putting it on, pressing pretty firmly. and. Once we have it on there, I'm going to take my finger, I'm just going to start to blend down. And this is masking out the sky, and it's also going to help create the curve of a mountain that's in the distance, or a hill that's in the distance. I'm pulling the pastel down, um, and then I'm going to go back and start to kind of blend it across, because I want the blue to fade from dark to light. We have our first impression of a hill or a mountain that's in the distance. Stencil number three. We're going to align stencil number three with the top of the card. And this time um, I'm going to go ahead and use a lighter blue 
see it's a little bit lighter. Again, I'm going to apply it pretty thick, pretty liberally onto the stencil. I want to make sure there's enough chalk powder there. And I'm going to blend it down. Use a clean finger or tissue, a clean part of the tissue. And we blend it out just the same way that we did stencil number two. Ooh, look at that. It's looking good. Stencil number four. This will be the last of our hill stencils. Again, I'm going to use the lighter blue. If you'd like to use the medium blue, feel free to do so. Put it on really thickly. And we're going to go ahead and blend this down. Go ahead and blend along the edge to make it the color fade. If you need to put more pastel on, you can do that. We now have a set of three hills. that are laid out against a sky. Sort of a nice, neat little design. In stencil five, we're gonna add some spruce trees or fir trees to the background. We just wanna simply align this with the top. And I'm gonna use the darkest blue and I'm gonna put it on pretty thick. I'm just going to put it around the outside edge of the cutouts. I'm going to try to get as much pastel as you can on there. And now we're going to blend the color or the pigment in towards the cutout. Try to make sure that your paper or your stencil does not move. And try to get as much of that dark blue inside the cutout as possible. If you need to add more pastel to the outside of your stencil, please feel free to do so. And let's see the final result. All right. We have a nice little winter scene here. different color hills and when you open it up there's a greeting from us happiest of holidays from your friends at Butler High School you can put your cover sheet on your card use your paper clip and you may take home for display thank you